Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on how to find the rational zeros using PQ theorem and synthetic division. Synthetic division comes really handy in solving higher order polynomials. Unlike second order polynomial where we have factoring, we have quadratic equation, higher polynomial trying to find a zero, it's complicated. It's a lot more work. Out comes this PQ theorem. So PQ theorem said, look, a solution for this whole set, if we call this f of x, lies in a particular set of numbers. And the particular set is p over q, where p is factor of the constant, which is plus minus 1 here, and over the plus minus 2. So far, for our case, I have plus 1, minus 1, plus half, minus half. So in a way, it's kind of like an arranged marriage in that you find mates only in a set of candidates instead of looking all over the place. Another thing our students ask me often is, how do you remember it's p over q, it's constant over that one? A um, couple things we found out is backward thinking. You think backward thinking is rational since we're dealing with the rational zeros. Okay, that's another way. Another student come up with the solution that this one is actually look like a snake's head. This one looks like a snake's tail. So tail goes first. Whichever one works for you. So down to the PQ theorem for this one. Our polynomial here, it's relatively easy. You can see substituting in there, uh, x minus 1 is a solution in that x equal to 1 is a solution. Okay. X equal to minus 1 is also a solution. So given that, I already have two factors. And how to find the third factor here, I can use long division. Okay, for our case, we'll pretend we only figure out x equal to 1 works. So next thing to do then is using synthetic division and divide and see if we can figure out the rest of them. And here's how we're going to do it. So basically, we start with the polynomial. Let's copy it down. Okay. And then since we know x equal to 1 is a solution, because this is a little tricky and backward for synthetic division, uh, when we're doing long division, we use subtraction. When we're doing synthetic division, we use adding, addition. So that little difference gave us uh, quite a bit clue here what to put in. When x equal to 1, that's a solution that's to say that x minus 1 equal to 0 is a solution. And we're actually putting minus 1 over here. We only put the digit over here instead of x minus 1. We don't write the minus 1 part because we're actually going to use addition. So for synthetic division, it's a little backward. If you're dividing x minus 1, you put a positive 1 here. So this is equivalent to divide x minus 1. Okay. And then what we do is we're going to copy the coefficient here, which is 2 minus 1 minus 2 and plus 1. Since we are not missing any coefficients here, each term has its own place. And then what we're going to do is put a positive 1 here. First term copies down as a 2. Okay, Then 1 times 2 is positive 2. We're going to add here, which is positive 1. 1 times 1 is positive 1 again. Add again, I have a minus 1. And then minus 1 here, I have a 0. Okay. So what this says, if you were to divide this long polynomial by x minus 1, you will have 2x squared, the power reduced by 1, plus x minus 1 as the result. So, so far, we have that this is equal to the original 2x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay. So, the reason we use synthetic division is once we guessed a correct root, we can say, well, using synthetic division, I can reduce the power of the polynomial by 1. Okay, from here, this set is actually factored, x plus 1, and I have a 2x minus 1. Okay, we'll put a 2x cubed, x squared minus 2x plus 1.
synthetic di division help us to reduce the amount of work we needed to divide using long division. So from here we see x equal to 1 is a solution, x equal to minus 1, and along equal to x equal to half. Okay, now remember back in the PQ theorem, the set of candidates is plus 1, minus 1, half, and minus half. And sure enough, we found all three here. All right? Hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me. Together, we can conquer math. Until next time, have a confident day.